okay in this video we want to look at how to rearrange and redesign our application so we're gonna change its look from this to this okay so I believe this one is a little bit better than how it was designed and um, we're gonna change the list of item page to this and then the add items page that is this one will be changed to this okay so if you like the old design you might stick with that but i want to change my design into this other look right so to do that we have all the codes on the block side okay so we are implementing this using the bootstrap rules and columns all right so you can read this short text to explain how they work and or what are columns and rows all right so i'm gonna move down to the code section so if i go to the list of item page that is this one right here so it's currently not in rows and columns all right so we have two sections i want to create these two sections like if you look at this screenshot i have a column right here that contains the form and the buttons so we're going to move these buttons right down here the other items button will be here and the list history button will be here so i'm going to remove it from the nav bar all right so we have two sections here we're going to have one section that will contain this form and the buttons and then another column will have uh, this table okay two columns all right so the first column is gonna be this and the second one will contain the table right here okay so to implement that we have these rows that starts right there and then end right here okay so i'm gonna type this right here on the code but you can copy and paste what i have on the block side all right so just where this form start this is where we have the form so i'm gonna wrap the form with a column but before we put it in a column we have to define our row for so you have to have a row that goes around everything that you want to put in columns right so to demonstrate that I'm gonna put a div class and I give it a class of row so this is a bootstrap class that is already defined in your bootstrap CSS okay I'm gonna remove this and add it in a second okay all right, so I want to indent everything that I will put inside the row. All right, so that starts from here Containing the table all the way where the table ends. Okay, so I'm gonna move down So there's a table and there's a div that Wraps the table all right the div that has the class display table ends right here so I'm gonna indent both of them including the form in okay i'm gonna indent them in so it's easier for me to wrap them inside another div okay so i'm gonna indent them one more step i'm gonna come down and create a div with a class of row okay so this div starts here it's gonna end right here okay all right so i want to make sure that this is on the same line i'm gonna indent it a bit inside all right so let me just give it one more tab okay so we have a div that starts here with a class of row and ends here all right i'm gonna give it a comment so that it's easier to work on it later all right here i'm gonna say end of row okay so since i have everything from the form all the way down here inside this row so i'm gonna put them in columns okay like i explained i have two sections one of them will be the form so i'm gonna put the form in a div and that div will be giving a class of column dash sm dash two so this row with bootstrap have about 12 columns okay so i'm gonna combine two columns and give it to the form okay so the column will start right here i will take two spacings or two column spacing and i'm gonna end it right here okay so i'm gonna indent that a bit i'm gonna say uh
n row or n column dash sm dash two. Okay, so this column starts here and ends here. So I'm gonna create another one. All right, right before the table, I'm gonna create another column. Div class column dash sm dash 10 all right so we are left with 10 after subtracting 2 from 12 so I'm gonna use the entire 10 for the table so I'm gonna indent that a bit all right so I'm gonna end it right here just below the table and and then give it a comment and second column does sm does 10 all right so since we put this code in two columns we have the first column as column sm2 and the second one is column sm10 so if i save this and i switch over to the application click refresh or click on the list of page you can see it automatically put these things in columns okay so this one just took two and the remaining 10 goes to the table so now if i look at the screenshot i have we needed to do a little bit of work like we want to add these buttons the add items and the list history button we also want to style the search button okay so looking at it the search is having a regular button without any styling okay so we're gonna give it a bootstrap styling we're gonna also create our own class and give it our custom styling all right okay so we're gonna style this before we style it i'm gonna bring down this button here so that's what i have inside the code right here okay it starts here and ends here so we're gonna have two button one of them is add items and the other one is list history i'm gonna copy and paste it just below the form all right but it has to be within this column okay so the column starts here and ends here just before it ends that is below the form i'm gonna paste it right here okay i'm gonna save it and then switch over do a refresh all right, so we have this button that is close to the search button. I'm gonna give it a few uh, break lines. Just above here, I'm gonna give it a few BR, maybe two. Save it and then refresh. Okay, I think that spacing is good. So I'm gonna style the search button. That is what we have here. I'm gonna give it a class of btn that is a bootstrap class and btn primary okay the primary gives it the color all right so if i refresh we have this button looking similar okay but we want to give it the full width of this column so that's where we create our own styling okay or our own class that is called my button so we have to create a class right here i'm gonna give this one also the class name my button so you can decide to create a style up here or maybe inside the style sheet of css okay so in this case since we are putting all our custom style here in the style sheet of css i'm gonna paste it right here okay so i've already created that right here my button and i'm gonna give it a width of 100 percent so it's gonna take the entire width of the div that it is in okay i'm gonna save it and then refresh all right so these two got the styling all right so let's check what's wrong with the search button i'm gonna switch back here all right it looks like we didn't save it let's save it and then refresh all right so that works okay so if i'm switch back to our screenshot okay so with the screenshot you can see we have a larger space right here and if i switch back to our current look 
we have some cluttered table okay so i want to remove the timestamp the last updated the count and the id okay so that it looks like this you might you might want to leave the last updated so that we know when this item was last updated okay so i'm going to remove the count and the id i'm going to also remove the timestamp okay so if i switch over to the list of items page i'm going to remove this by commenting it the id we're also going to remove the timestamp okay so i'm going to scroll down and then remove the loop the id and the timestamp save it and then refresh all right so i think we got this like how we want it so i'm going to switch over and compare them all right so that looks identical all right so with our screenshot we removed it reorder level you might want to leave it there but in this case i'm going to leave it on this application all right so i'm going to switch over to the add items page and then start it as well so if i look at that screenshot i want to have it designed like this okay all right so i'm going to create a row that takes the entire width of the container that it is in and create a column for the form and give it a size of five okay maybe four maybe five okay so I'm gonna switch over right here and then look at the code we have here we're gonna give it a, a column of five okay so we're gonna do that next I'm gonna go to add items okay so right here where the form is I'm gonna indent the form okay and I'm gonna create a div with a class of row and I'm gonna end the div right here okay so I'm gonna create a column div class column does the same does five and I end the column just below the form Okay, so I'm gonna save it and then refresh. You can see how that changed. Okay, we wanna give it the design that we have on our table. Okay, so we're gonna give it this curve and this shadow design. That is the class that we use for this table. If I can remember, I think it is, uh, let's check it right here, display class, okay. I'm gonna copy that and I give it that class we're gonna wrap this form inside that class okay I'm gonna create another div class and I give it that class and that class right here save it and then refresh or click on the button it take us to our items page we have it as we want it okay but we still have some uh, adjustment or some styling to do I don't want this line up here so I'm gonna go to my styling and then adjust this okay so if I go to CSS we're gonna look for that class we have it right here I want to remove this and also lower the 22 maybe 15 save refresh here it is still appearing maybe i might lower the 15 to 10. okay so that blended in the background perfectly well okay so i want to style the button the save button let's do that next we're going to give it a class btn btn primary save it okay so i think we got it let's check the sample that we have and then compare it with this thing that is okay all right okay so next is to remove this button since we have them in the list item page it looks like our for our buttons and not taking the full width of the space let's check why that is happening so i'm going to go back to the css check the styling 
Okay, so I think we need to add back our bot in class, okay? Alright, so we need to add back our bot in class. That is this right here. Okay, copy and then save it in style see the CSS, save and then make sure it is taking the full width of the column okay so we want to remove this button since we have them here the are items and the list of items so i'm gonna go to the nav bar right here and then comment them out or just delete them so the list item page i'm also gonna remove it the list item menu i mean so if i refresh so we can go to add items but we cannot go back to the list of items so i want to use that as my home page so if i click on the home button i want it to take me to the list of items page okay at the moment we don't need this home page so i want that home page to be the list of items so to do that we have to go back in the home view okay so that's what i have here if you scroll all the way down we have the return redirect i'm gonna copy this and then paste it in the views right here right in the home view i'm gonna comment this and then do a redirect instead of rendering a home page it's gonna redirect us to the list of item page until when we need a home page or something else then we can stop this redirect okay so i'm gonna save this you can also create the link like in the nav bar you can also give it the link to the list of item page okay so the reason why i don't want to do that maybe in the future i might need this home page for something to display something in there so i'm just going to use the redirect temporarily but any one of them will work okay so i'm going to use that in this video so if i click on the home button it should take me to this home page okay so choose what works for you or how you want to implement it all right so this is what we want to achieve in this video i also noticed that the filter by category is not working but we already fixed this in the last video in this model okay you can also design this the way we designed the list of item page just the same procedures okay so i'm gonna do that but i'm not gonna show it in this video but it's just the same procedures like how we did this so you can follow the same process or follow the same steps to do the list of item page all right but uh, what i was saying is we already implemented this if you search by category it's gonna filter it down so you can do exactly the same with the list of item page okay so with that said i hope you enjoyed this video if you do don't forget to click on the like button subscribe if you are new to this channel and enjoy videos like this see you in the next one